Hey, what's up, you guys? I am going to try out World of Astera today. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. There is a Greek goddess, I believe, named Asteria. I don't know if that's really what the game is about um, or if the title is about that Greek goddess. I'm not sure. Anyways, this game has got a 4.5 star rating on the Google Play Store. doesn't have a lot of downloads yet because it just came out on July of 2014, 2022, 50,000 downloads. But as always, I'm gonna play the game, rate the game, give you guys an idea of what the game is about, and let you know my personal thoughts of the game. I gotta choose a faction, but it says confirm. What do I gotta, oh, so it's the left hand side, I can see that now. I got two factions to choose from. It's telling me pretty much to, pretty much to uh, select the blue one. So let's do that. We are loading up, kind of getting a uh, story here of what this is all about. In the dreams of their holy prophets, swarms of vile monsters poured out from the abyss. <clears throat> Um, engulfing the world in darkness in hopes of saving the world from such uh, absorbent destruction, humans set off a voyage across the vast seas to a strange new continent, the land of Asteria. Okay, so it's based off of uh, the land of Asteria. Asteria is a place. It's called Astera, Astora, I don't know. Oh, okay, I just had to click that thing. I was just reading that for no reason. I thought it was loading. It looked like a loading screen. All right, here we go. Here we go. All these kind of giving you a backstory. We were got a soldier here. It looks like we were kind of in a third-person mode or type of view with these uh, monsters that we are set up to defeat, it looks like. I haven't really done much yet. It's kind of doing everything for me. I think it's kind of just giving me a setup. So, it looks like uh, we're going to be setting up these different uh, kind of, I don't know if you want to call them castles. We're going to have probably, I'm assuming if I've played any game like this before, a potion section, a building section, a soldier section where you can train them, you can extend your uh, place, you can go out and attack different bases, and also you have to, I'm assuming, defend your base, Lumber Mill. So now we're building a Lumber Mill. So the Lumber Mill is to help us collect wood in order to build 500 wood. This is a uh, game that is going to need a lot of memory, just an FYI, because it is uh, pretty big in the sense that there's just a lot to it and a lot to download. I actually had to delete a couple of games just to download this game. We've got a place where we're mining for gold, and that's where we collect our gold. We've got gold and what at the top, up at the top right, upgrade. Okay, so this is called the Great Hall. Essentially, it's like the, uh, console place our main hall to our uh, establishment here. I don't know if behind that, you can see behind that, there's like a bigger castle to the top left. I don't know if we eventually move into that or what. But. Okay, it looks like I just unlocked some rewards. I got 10,000 gold. Uh, I don't know what that is. I saw like another building place, something, something, something. Chapter 2, Dragon's Legacy. There's probably a lot of story, a lot of backstory to this. That you could definitely get into. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna let you guys read through everything if you want to. I want to get more gist of the game in this video. Kind of play by play. I really want to get into some more combat. It's kind of 
kind of at the building stages right now, letting us know that we've got all these different things we can extend. Now, what is this over here? Uh, oh, I can't this. I'm trying to click on that. At least it's giving me a lot of direction on kind of what it wants me to do off the bat. We got a bridge over here. So this is like my castle, my kingdom. I've got a huge barrier all the way around. I just rebuilt my bridge. It looks like I'm going to have some like archers or some people outside kind of guarding it. Plus 40 power. Congratulations, I just got more gold and more rewards and everything else. I moved on from chapter two. So this is kind of like um, our grid when you click on that top uh, left hand side. It says construction and you can uh, upgrade everything. All right, so here we go. We're probably about to get into another battle. I think I'm facing off against the Death Knight here. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe it's just letting me know that he's... Let's see. I don't know. I didn't read it, so I wouldn't know. Winter is coming, and death follows. I'm assuming that the different characters have different uh, powers. Odelia, uh, this is epic. I don't know if I, looks like I unlocked her. Now that I'm on level three. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, because I make videos like this all the time, let me know what games are out there for you to play on your mobile device. So this is our world map, spraying us back out again. I'm wondering if we're actually going to get into battle with this guy now. Doesn't look like I'm gonna win this. Looks like he's got a bigger army than I do, but. So you're kind of building up your army to be able to battle against. Uh, oh, looks like I got some more people. To be able to build up enough to fight off against, uh, you know, bigger enemies as you go. Black uh, Scythe. That was basically what he had in his hands, I think. So I can equip her with it? Is that what it's telling me? Yeah. Yes, I can. This is really probably a game that you should uh, do a longer review on, but to do a 50 minute review is pretty uh, long time to be doing a review on on a mobile device on your phone. I want to give you guys the idea and obviously let you guys decide if you want to play it, but it's just because this is uh, definitely a bigger mobile game. So this is a world map. It's kind of taken us out and you just saw there how much uh, kind of how much space there is, how many other places there are. Let's see what this is all about. Dark energy radiance from the locations in the mists. How can we dispel the mist? So that's an interesting looking castle. I don't know if that's like, uh, like a good thing or a bad thing. Explore. So the explore tower is obviously going to help us uncover different areas in the mist. That's what I'm going to assume. Gotcha. So, sending out a scout 
from the Explore Tower. And you can see it kind of unlocks the area as they travel through. And it unlocked that whole entire area. So it went to a tower and kind of established the whole area behind it. I paused the video there, but... So at the bottom right, we've got Hero, we've got Bag. It says I have 23 in the bag, but I'm only going to click on it because it wants me to click on this. And it does look like we have online uh, mobile player for this. So you can join an alliance, establish a team, or create an alliance and have people join with you. So we are applying to another alliance. I've definitely played some games very similar to this before, but... It was, of course, a uh, very different theme. But uh, I imagine this is a very big world map just like that one is in a lot of detail in this game. Alright guys, I think you got the gist of this game. If you have questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. I'm going to give this a 3.7 star rating because I think it's very similar to other games like this world map that I played. I will say that they pack a whole bunch into games like this and you could play it for hours. I just am more interested in the one-on-one -on -one kind of 1v1 battle where games that you are really engaged in as opposed to letting it go off on its own and kind of run into battle. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you